bless you mightily in Jesus mighty name hallelujah how have you been I trust you are well and blessed in Jesus name so today I want to share with you a revelation that God showed me yesterday when I was about to sleep at around 1 a.m. I had just closed my eyes and was preparing to sleep when I saw a short vision about the land and the nation of Kenya and the reason I'm sharing is so that all of us can stand together and pray for the country that God is going to preserve and to protect all of us. So it was a few minutes uh, after 1 a.m. and I had just closed my eyes about to sleep when I saw myself in a place that looked like the city of Nairobi. I know uh, some of you know the city of Nairobi, how it looks like. So I saw myself there and I saw something happened which I didn't know what it was and I saw people running because the vision entailed uh, motorbikes trying to run away and cars trying to run away. There was like a state of commotion in the place and everybody was trying to run for their lives. So I just saw that in a glimpse and immediately I was able to know that this is Nairobi and something like chaos is about to erupt then the vision ended like that so we need to stand together as the citizens of Kenya and everybody else that loves Kenya we need to stand together and pray for this land and pray for this nation remember the book of 2nd Chronicles chapter 7 from verse 14 the Bible says if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and we forgive their sin and we heal their land so we that are called by God we that consider ourselves as children of God we need to come together humble ourselves and pray so that God is going to heal this land whichever plans or agenda that the enemy has against the land of Kenya or any town or any city in Kenya we decree and declare that they are cancelled in Jesus name I cover every town and every city of Kenya and all the citizens of Kenya with the precious blood of Jesus and I decree and declare that no we performed against this land is going to prosper in Jesus mighty name so I want you to join me and pray about this do not take it for granted because it's just a short uh, vision but what we know is that God God reveals to redeem so when God shows us these things probably they may not happen or they may happen if they don't happen it doesn't mean that some of these prophecies are wrong but it is because people stood in the gap we need people that are going to stand in the gap and intercede for the nation of Kenya and as we do that you know God is faithful and God is merciful is going to hear us from heaven because the Bible says that when you call unto me I'm going to listen and I'm going to answer you so as we call out to God we want to cancel every plot of the enemy against this nation every plot of the enemy against the citizens of Kenya because we know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world so we know we can stand firm decree and declare with the authority that we've been given we can cancel anything that the enemy is planning against this land especially if it has to do with chaos because at the moment that I was in that vision I could feel that it was like chaos that had erupted anytime you are receiving a vision from God your senses are awakened so you are able to know what is going on even if there's no com you are not hearing anything even if you don't hear voices like this is going on but as you're in that situation you are able to identify the location and what is happening so I was able to know that this was Kenya I saw myself like in Nairobi I can't be sure but all I knew is that we need to pray and cancel against any sort of chaos in this land of Kenya so God bless you and thank you for connecting to all our prophetic insights you can go back and watch a video I did last year about several things that God showed me about the land of Kenya go and watch it and stand with us in prayer because when God reveals these things he doesn't reveal just to inform but he reveals so that people can stand in the gap and it is me and you to stand in the gap and to intercede for this country so god bless you hoping to see you again 
as God keeps talking to us and showing us these things, please, if this is your first time coming to this channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell. God bless you and have a blessed, blessed time of the year in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.